Namaste. Welcome and greetings. I am Magic Laqua. It's gonna stop a virus. No. Um, this got y'all listening now. Witchcraft for that ass. Too late to turn away. Abracadabra and all that good shit. Yo. Hocus pocus got you focused on my rhyme. Simply easy now. I'm eating couch potatoes. My keys to go home. Dora Paws. all. It feels amazing to have one. I'm not planning to ball, but why not take the chance to stunt? No, I don't need it all. Can think of a thing I don't want. Do I worship the sun? Or sell my soul for the tongue? Or death since I was young? Or got some boo 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 Om Shri Lakshmi Ganapataye Namaha. Om Shri Lakshmi Ganapataye Namaha. Om Clean Shreem Brizzy Namaha. These are prosperity rituals indigenous to the goddess Lakshmi. And welcome to another video by Magical Choir of the Magical, Magical Elite Supply Shop. Hope you're doing well on this day of Jupiter, one of my favorite days for prosperity and abundance rituals. Uh, today, what I want to talk about is beginner books. I get a lot of questions about books that helped me on my journey. And some of the first books that I'm going to be discussing with you are easy to do books. Um, the problem that we have today is people don't want to read, like I've said before. Um, people don't want to research and everybody wants to be spoon fed. Okay. Nobody got time for all that. All right. <laughs> um, as I said in my last video uh, about the eclipse, eventually you are going to have to do your own research. You're going to have to do your own study. Um, I hand out the tools. I give classes, got the Facebook group. I mean, you got all the tools, you got all the resources, you got to put some work in if you're trying to live a magical lifestyle. Okay. Um, like I said, these are some beginner books. They don't require a whole lot of equipment. Uh, when you first start out, you like to use a lot of candles, you start with your altar. Um, but some of these books that I'm going to present to you today, um, you just need still your mind, like this one, The Miracle of New Avatar Power. This out of print book uh, is now goes for hundreds of dollars on Amazon. Um, this has got to be one of the easiest books out there. Uh, that you can get that is a beginner magician's handbook. The spells, the invocations, the chants, they're all easy. It takes you through everything. This will actually assist you. The, 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 the key to it is consistency though. As you can see, what I did is I took a PDF and I had it printed out because I still like physical books. PDFs are great, and I got hundreds of those, over 700 to be exact. But, you know, sitting in front of a computer to read, that's not my thing. I grew up reading actual books. So, The Miracle of New Avatar Power. It was written during the occult renaissance during the 1970s. These books are cheesy. These occult books are cheesy. The stories in them are very cheesy, but they work. Trust me, they work. Um, and that's the that's some of the books that I'm going to cover today. Those that were written in the 70s. I'm so glad I got this book when it was available and cheap to get. Matter of fact, some of the books I'm about to present are not so cheap anymore, not so available. But these, these happened years ago when I was able to procure them. Okay. The Miracle of New Avatar Power. Get that book if you can. And another cheesy book. Works well though. I know, I said this video, I was going to 
talk about some hoodoo books, and I am going to do that, I promise. The Mystic Grimoire of Mighty Spells and Rituals. Notice the words they use, mighty, stupendous, powerful, vanquished, win it all, change my home ritual, goddamn. <laughs> uh, fame and honor spell, money aid spell. Freyla, Freyder Malak, another occultist from the 70s. As you can tell from this book, it's very old. From the 70s, the mystic grimoire of mighty spells and rituals. Another cheesy book, another book that actually works. Okay? Get this book. Helping yourself with the power of Gnostic magic. And if I read, have previously uh, suggested any of these books, I my apologies. I don't mean to do that, but these are some books that I think beginners. This, this video is directed towards beginners, those who are just starting off. This is another one. Algie Manning, who I think he passed away years ago, but... Um, he has an ESP lab somewhere in the United States. Uh, Al, uh, Algae Manning, helping yourself with the power of Gnostic magic. This is a good book also. Also, the stories are cheesy. That was the theme in the 70s with these books that came out. The stories, the cheesiness, that's just the way the times were back then. And that's how they presented it because it was in a, a resurgence of occultism back in the 70s. Just to give you a little background on that. Algae Manning, but this one is a better book. The Magic of New Ishtar Power. Algae Manning, he also wrote the book, and I don't have it here, called Helping Yourself with White Mint Witchcraft. Very basic witchcraft book, very basic. Do your research. Look up Algie Manning. He had, like I said, he has an ESP lab somewhere here in the United States. Uh, his magic is based on egregores. E R G R E G O R E. Egregores. Google is your friend. Look it up. <laughs> um, and I'm not trying to be condescending or anything like that. Just my Virgo way. Um, this book is more philosophy than anything. This is The Four Agreements. Don Miguel Ruiz. This is a very popular book. I believe he is, uh, this is based on ancient Toltec wisdom. This book, more philosophy, like I said. So you want to get started, you got to learn how to change your way of thinking. You got to reprogram yourself and deprogram yourself from uh, all the bullshit that's going on right now. Speaking of bullshit, <laughs> notice that all this stuff is happening right after the eclipse. Notice that there's a lot of distractions going on right now. Um, What's funny, I was trying not to, I was trying not to say anything about this because this is so funny to me, but people are bashing, this has nothing to do with anything, but people are bashing Joel Osteen for not opening his church. Um, yeah, what y'all expect for somebody who lives in a $10 million home and he has a mega church right there in Houston and his responses were so off the wall. It was like, <laughs> but the thing that I find so funny, and I don't mean to laugh, is because people are expecting so much from this dude. I'm like, really? Y'all trying to bash him and <laughs> you're gonna go, as soon as the water subsides and everything calms back down, watch y'all go give him another 10% of all your earnings. <laughs> again to keep him in business so i mean there was a one time when i was still in the corporate world i stopped carrying cash a long time ago because i carried cards with me 
and this particular vending machine in the office did um it didn't take cards so i needed like two dollars i said uh, i went to this friend of mine a uh, worker actually and i said uh let me borrow two dollars i'll give it back to you as soon as i get some cash so i can get to an atm i just want to get soda she said oh i'm sorry i don't have any money i gave it all to the church she had this big ass grin i'm like huh because <laughs> i i was trying to make sure that I heard her correctly. She said, I'm sorry, I gave it all to the church. She was happy that she gave all her fucking money that left her broke, but she gave her money to the church. Dora pause. <laughs> really negress <laughs> you think it's funny to me that people are so brainwashed by this shit if your god is so all powerful and i'm not passion anybody <laughs> your god is so all powerful all omniscient and everything he needs your fucking money okay whatever <laughs> but anyway just a little time out from that i just find this shit hilarious all right we're gonna talk about some primer books here um, oh yeah, this is a good one. One of my first, you see how old this shit is? It is, the pages are coming out. That's how old, that's how long I've had this book. It's called Cosmic Trigger, The Final Secret of the Illuminati. Robert Anton Wilson, who's wrote a couple books. His books are not just entertaining, they're very informative. You know, you got people who, on Facebook, I see a lot of people on Facebook trying to Say, oh, everything is natural. These, this is not happening because of elite. Yeah, okay, whatever, motherfuckers. <laughs> whatever, believe whatever. But he's a white guy who wrote this book. <laughs> uh, it's just like Behold a Pale Horse was written. Read, that's a very powerful book also. But this was one of the first books that I read after, um, after finding out that I wanted to learn more about occultism, spirituality, Cosmic Trigger. I believe you can find this on PDF somewhere. The Sorcerer's Secrets, Jason Miller. This is a good beginner's book because there's nothing, absolutely nothing advanced. And I'm not putting him down either, but there's nothing advanced about this book. This book is a beginner's book. It's a primer. Uh, Jason Miller. He has a few books. Uh, I read a couple of his books. Not my cup of tea. But if you're a beginner, you want to get some easy to do techniques, this is another good book. Sorcerer's Secrets. Alright. One of my favorite authors is Tarot Star. Uh, the Spiritual Worker's Handbook. I love the way he talks slash writes. Uh, he speaks in what they call Old English, but uh, it just appeals to me some way. But he has a couple of books that are powerful and got some good techniques. His other books include how to make incenses, oils, powders, you name it. He, he has formulas for it. Sometimes when I make my oils, I use some of his books for reference, for ingredients. Tarot Star, Sorcerers, I'm, I'm sorry, The Spiritual Worker's Handbook. And we was going to talk about hoodoo books, hoodoo beginner books. Jim Haskins has a great one called Voodoo and Hoodoo. Some good techniques um, about voodoo men, hoodoo women, and root doctors. Voodoo and hoodoo. More books that I don't have would be any book by but my friend Denise Alvarado. Um, the Voodoo Hoodoo Spellbook is a great primer book for anyone getting into root work, into the practice of hoodoo and starting to begin. Denise gives it from a New Orleans hoodoo perspective, which I believe is very powerful. 
um, any book by her. She has a book by St. Expedite out. She has a book on Voodoo Dolls. Uh, but any book by Denise Alvarado, get that book. She She's very knowledgeable. She grew up there and um, she is a great resource on the subject. Okay. Um, last but not least, oh well, I hate to do this, but because I really don't want to give this bitch any, any credit for anything, but Catherine Yorondwa, or whatever her name is, the Jewish chick who sells hoodoo products. I hate to admit to this, but her um, uh, hoodoo herb and root magic is a great resource for herbs and how to employ them, how to use them, what they're used for, and their properties. Same with any Anna Reva book. Anna Reva books are really, really thin, but they pack a lot of material in them. And last but not least, we still talking about hoodoo, is uh, Zora Neale Hurston. She, um, her books are not for everybody because she writes in the way they spoke at the time. Her choice of language is because of how people spoke at the time. She uh, did a lot of Haiti field work. One book that comes to mind is called Their Eyes Were Watching God. Um, very good book. My mother and I compared notes at one time. Uh, my mom said she couldn't finish. She said she couldn't get past the book Broken English. I'm like, well, mom, that's not our language anyway. But she, she couldn't get over it. But anyway, her... Chosen language is what we call broken English, or it's, it's a slang. But her, any book by Zora Neale Hurston, she, I believe she was a practitioner and she did some field work in Haiti. She's a good resource also. If I come up with any more hoodoo books that you should go and get, I will make another video about it. This has been Magic LaCroix of the Magical Elite Supply Shop. I'll see you all next time. Peace.